I don't know sure if I know any management theories. I don't think many people would necessarily <laughs> like the the hololith or something. I mean that's but that's just a management machine, isn't it? The hololith was the prototype computer designed by IBM uh, that categorized where the Jews whether the Jews got gassed or um, or got put to work or and it was just their it was how they, they, they dealt with the data. So the, the, the number tattoo was the hot the number ta they had tattooed on them was the hololith. It was called the Hololith, the machine. And you can see it, and it's got the proud marks IBM on it. And uh, I don't think that's, uh, I would say I don't like that management at all. So what's the modern day descendant of the Hololith machine then? Uh, maybe the very chip. That's IBM as well. What's that do? The same people that made the Hololith has, has made the, the very chip is the um, finger recognition. Well, they were an American company. But how did they end up designing the... Well, hit, uh, America, uh, America, um, well, America funded uh, the Germans in the, in the uh, Second World War. Uh, I think it's 40% of their heavy metals industry was, uh, was um, supported by Amer America. George W. Bush's um, great... No, George W. Bush's um, grandfather, Herbert Walker Bush. Herbert Walker Bush. Uh, it was it, he. He um, helped fund the Nazi Germany. Good management is everyone that's involved with the the, the project or the whole is essentially uh, has an under. They have an understanding of the whole. They have an understanding of the what they're uh, all working towards, and they understand very clearly their part that they play within the whole. And I think that that's great management for people to, to actually um, promote that awareness. We're, we're, in a, well, we're in a society where everything's broken up and everything gets contracted or separately for different things and so we don't have an understanding that we all of, of the whole and how we all work together and I think that that's when stupid jobs get invented. What would you do with the um, council's health and safety department? I would probably would take them to um, to, our, to 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 the bit of land that we collectively run in in, in Wales, and get them to build things and, and uh, get them to see and understand um, what risks one has to take and what what um, and, and where real danger lies. Uh, there was there was some techies, and they were all standing around a stage. And I was like, "What are they standing around? What are they looking at?" And they were looking at they were looking at a, an incense stick, and uh, saying it, it was a problem because it couldn't it couldn't like be burning on the front like by you know on the stage basically. And uh, there's like three techies that you know people getting paid there by the hour you know to deal with such issues and. What are we doing? We're inventing these these scenarios that that, that people are getting paid and uh, producing nothing and not progressing with anything. It's it's awful. But what would I do about it? Yeah, I would say that it's probably good for the people of, with pens to actually put the pens down and maybe pick up, you know, do some gardening or do go outside and and. Uh, and, and uh, learn some practical skills so they can have a bit more of an understanding of where health and safety needs to come into play. Um, I think we need health and safety, but I also think we, through it, we lack, we're diminishing our common sense and, uh, and of, of how, how things work because we're not able to do it and only that guy can do it. Not that, because that guy hasn't got a certificate and this, you know, and it, it's just broken up and it's just gone too far. Um, and I, I think, just, just think for the human spirit and all working together, I just think it's awful. I just think it's just like, it's weak.